techniques have been promoted to treat barotrauma in reef fish who have a little as known as to how effective they are and whether they improve the chances of survival. Over the past three years, researchers in Queensland have been testing a number of release methods. These included six tropical reef species which were checked to see if survival of fish suffering from barotrauma can be improved. Barotrauma affects the swim bladder of fish that have been caught in deep water and are brought to the surface quickly. Symptoms include a hard inflated stomach and bulging eyes. In severe cases, the stomach of the fish is forced out through the mouth. Barotrauma relief treatments were applied to some of the fish. Others were released without treatment, as most fish are released untreated by anglers. One treatment was to use a technique called venting. This is the use of a fine hollow needle to pierce the swim bladder in order to allow the expanded gases inside to escape. Gently inserting the needle into the correct location is important and if done correctly, you can hear the gases escaping through the needle and see the stomach going back in. The other treatment was to use a shot line. This involves hooking a fish through the lip with a barbless weighted hook which is passed through the lip of the fish. The hook is attached to a line and used to return the fish quickly to the bottom. As it goes down, the increasing water pressure recompresses the swim bladder, making the fish buoyant again. A simple tug on the line then releases the fish to swim away. To check on the survival of fish treated by each method, they were first tagged and released into a floating cage. This 15 metre deep cylindrical cage is affectionately called a sock. This process simulated the fish being actually released, but allowed their survival to be monitored over a three-day period. It was found that fish adjusted to this environment quickly and swam around near the bottom of the cage. What the research also found was that saddle tail snapper benefited from venting, whereas red emperor had high survival rates no matter which treatment, if any, was used. By retrieving fish held in the sock, the short-term survival of fish could be checked. Overall survival for each species was able to be estimated from this work. With bag and size limits applying to these species, it is important for recreational anglers to know about these survival rates. Anglers can then use the most effective methods to handle the fish that are released. While not a part of the research, another release method was trialled using a coochum trap or bottomless crab pot. Fish were placed in the trap and lowered until they were able to swim free. This method needs further testing, but is a promising alternative. 